Hey folks, I thought I'd do something a little different today. I thought I'd review one of these subscription boxes that's related to comics. Uh, obviously this first one that I've got here is Comic Bento. Now this is a monthly service and I'll put the cost up here and you know, I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't personally think that the subscription box deals are always the best value just because how can they know exactly what I'm going to be into? Am I really going to get my money's worth or am I going to get maybe one thing that I like and a few things that I don't? That's, that's my fear, but um, I'm going to do an opening of this without really knowing what's in here. I'm going to give my honest reaction to whether I think this is a good value or not. Um, and, and I'm hopeful. You know, I do remember that as a kid, uh, I hadn't read too many comics, and one Christmas I got this 100 pack of comics. So it was very exciting. I read every single issue, and while a lot of it was superhero stuff that I was really into, and some of it was just licensed material, I just as a kid was really excited to get such a diverse group of comics. So what I'm hoping is that this is also similarly diverse. If this is just a bunch of Marvel and DC trade paperbacks that I could get on the stands today, I'm going to be disappointed. Hopefully there's maybe a little more indie stuff. Hopefully there's some stuff that's older. We'll see. Let's open it up. I will say while I'm opening this, um, this was shipped media mail. So, um, you know, the, it, it, it gets a little banged up but it seems like this is a pretty durable uh, box, so it shouldn't really matter. Okay, let's see here. Oh boy. Hmm. This is how it comes. Um, there's, a, there's a nice backing board here to help uh, reinforce things. There's, there was an air cushion on top, and um, yeah, plastic to help protect the books from getting too scuffed up. But it looks like this is four trade paperbacks. Uh, I'm not sure I'm so excited for this. Okay, first of all, Wolverine Old Man Logan. Well, um, I've obviously done a review of this already, so I already have this. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's a good comic. It is pretty good. I mean, it's got good artwork. It's got an interesting story. The character himself, uh, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, but, uh, wow. Huh. I was really, really hoping that what this meant was not just modern day current trade paperbacks, and that's exactly what this is. There are no issues that are older than this. Uh, oh well, alright, well, anyway, this is good if you don't already have it, but I've already got it, so that's kind of a, a wash for me. What's next? Halo. Uh, hmm. I, I love the Halo video games. I've never personally had much interest in exploring the ancillary materials, but now I've got this. Okay, so this says that it's uh, the first six issues of a Halo comic that takes place after Halo 4. So if you're not familiar with Halo, I wonder how much this will be relevant to you. Let's see what it looks like inside. Um, hmm. I don't love that artwork. It's it's okay. I would not have uh, bought this on the stands. Uh, I would never have bought this comic. That doesn't mean this isn't good. Uh, since I since I have it, I guess I'll read it. But I would never have ever bought like a licensed comic on Halo. Um, Good games, I've got it, so I'll read it, but I would not have picked this myself. Okay, something from Valiant. Uh, 
Bloodshot, Bloodshot Reborn. This is somewhat promising, actually. Uh, I've heard a lot of great things about Valiant um, superheroes. The, the They've sort of rebooted their superhero line a few years ago. And, okay, this is written by uh, Jeff Lemire. He's um, a fantastic writer. He's written a lot of stuff that I like. Um, not familiar with the artists, but we'll open it up. And, it, and it's the first five issues. This, um, so far is easily the thing I'm most interested in. Um, all right, yeah. That's actually some really good artwork. This looks interesting. I don't know a whole lot about Bloodshot. Um, I didn't really read Bloodshot in the 90s, so I'm not familiar with this character, but I've heard good things about Valiant. Um, this, this is good. This is something I would have potentially picked up at some point for myself. So, this one doesn't seem too bad. And this is the last one. There's only four comics in it. Let's see, on the back, these are, these are all listed for about $19.99. Yeah. Okay, this is $10. This is $20. This one I haven't really looked at yet is 20 and this is 30. Okay, so if we were to buy all of these brand new, let me say that was 20, 40, 70, 80. All right, about 80 bucks if you bought it all brand new, but I don't know. Um, I have a hard time imagining these two are going for full cover price these days. Dan Dare. I'm pretty sure that's uh, an older British sci-fi character. I don't know anything about Dan Dare. Hmm. Eh. His country has forgotten him. The world he loved is gone forever. Dan Dare, pilot of the future, has retired. His beloved space fleet long disbanded and his friends scattered to the winds. Dare lives far from home in a self-imposed exile. I'm already bored. I don't care about the rest. It's something like Buck Rogers or... Eh. Uh, hmm. This artwork is, is okay. Boy, this looks kind of a lot like that Halo book. Wow, there's not really a theme here, is there? Uh, Halo and Dan Dare are both the sort of sci-fi uh, humans against buggy alien type characters, so maybe, you know, if you like one of these, I guess you'll like both. Uh, Dan Dare is at least written by Garth Ennis, and he can be kind of funny sometimes, so, you know, I guess I'll give this a shot. Um, hmm. I'm not, unfortunately, familiar with any of these creators, so I can't give an informed opinion. Um, that's on me. Uh, maybe. I don't know. That is about, I don't know, like, this is Wolverine. Like, so many people are already going to have this book by now. This is, this is, when was this printed? This was... This has been out for quite a while, so I think a lot of people that are interested in Wolverine would already have this. Um, unless you're just getting into comics, of course. Uh, just says that this is the eighth printing this year. I had, it doesn't say when it was originally printed. Oh well. Well, the comics came in good shape. Um... Overall, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in this. I, I, I don't find this to be a vi It's all superhero and current sci-fi type stuff, which is totally fine, but I was really hoping, like, give me a crime comic, you know? Give me, give me, um, give me something I wouldn't have otherwise come across, like uh, an autobiography or a non-fiction something or other. Or give me something older. I thought that there was a chance maybe they just, you know, find some older issues. But no. Um, you get this little thing, okay. 
just a summary of the comics. Wow. Not, uh, not super impressed, to be honest. Uh, the only one I'll read is this one. I, 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 this is not money well spent for me, because I've already read 25% of them. These two, I, I, I'll be honest, I never would have bought these. Um, I at least like Halo, and I like Garth Ennis, but like that cover is so generic to me. That is not exciting at all. I never personally would have picked this up. And now I've now I own a copy, so hmm. Eh, I'll give those away. I'll give all three of those away. I'll read this one. So for me, this is something I'm interested in that I have not bought. I don't know if I would have gotten around to it or not. That's cool. I was really obviously hoping for more of a mix of genres, creators, time periods. So it comes in good condition, but overall I am I am very disappointed in this. And uh, I'll probably give these comics away. All right, hope that was useful for you. Maybe, maybe you find more value in this than I do. Take care.